Hello everyone, long time no see. My name's Mayuko and welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I just wanted to provide kind of an update on what's been going on in my life. It sounds so cheesy to say that because it's becomes this whole big thing, but I did wanna actually just provide an update about things because I haven't on this YouTube channel, which is like my main place that y'all find me on the internet. And I'm just gonna come out and say it. Uh, I got a software engineering job. I am back as a software engineer full time. I mentioned this on social media like a couple months ago already, but I'm three months into this job. Yeah, I just kind of wanted to talk about it because if you've noticed, it's definitely impacted like my posting schedule and how much I post on here because I'm no longer doing content creation full time. So yeah, I wanted to talk about it and just kind of let you all in on where I'm at, how I'm doing, what's been going on, and kind of provide also an update for the future. First and foremost, I got a new software engineering job back again as an iOS dev, um, and I started at the end of July. So I'd actually been thinking about going back to software engineering for a while, maybe since like springtime is when I started thinking about it seriously. And specifically, there was like a couple of reasons why I wanted to go back. There was like a few things that I really missed about software engineering. The first thing which I think influenced my decision the most probably is that I just really missed building stuff with code. After I left my job at Netflix in January of 2020, I was doing this, like creating content full time. And I did that basically for two and a half years, which was so fun. I got to make so many great videos, really got to see what it was like to own my own business and stuff. But there was just something very special that I missed about building things with code. The other thing that I really missed was working on a team. I have a small team of people that I work with for all of this kind of stuff, but there was something about working in like a product tech software engineering team that I really missed. Collaboration of like many different roles coming together and just like having coworkers who are invested in the work as much as you are was also something that I missed. The other thing that I really missed was just like not being the solely responsible person for whether a business was successful or not. Like I'm not gonna lie, I really liked doing like content creation full time and I still am doing content creation to some extent, I'll get into that later. But not being the like only one responsible for getting stuff done was also something that I really missed. That's the thing about like being your own business person, like if you, don't do it, it doesn't get done. There's no one else who can kind of like fill it in for you unless you grow your business intentionally that way, which I wasn't doing. So yeah, I, I really miss that. And definitely like as a result, the steady paycheck of having a salary was something that I missed as well. So yeah, a number of reasons why I miss software engineering and a good opportunity happened to come up. I took it. I thought that I would kind of continue making videos alongside this job but I haven't been. Like I thought that I would balance YouTube with like working better than I did because I've done it before. Like before I made the jump to content creation full-time, I was doing a full-time software engineering job alongside making videos. But truthfully, I haven't really been making videos because I haven't felt the urge to. I just haven't wanted to. And something that I noticed was just like, the break has been really, really nice. I'm not gonna lie. And I just kind of let this happen very naturally. I wasn't like planning on taking a break or anything per se. I just knew that I wasn't gonna be able to post like weekly videos like I was before. But I realized upon reflection, there's a couple of reasons why this happened. And really it all comes down to like, yes, this work is like so entirely rewarding but it is really freaking tough, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like this was like my first time being a creative person, even though we're all inherently creative in our own ways and stuff and it shows up in different ways, but just like really doing something that was completely out of my comfort zone that was very different, challenged me in a lot of ways. And I think there were a couple of themes here. And the first one for me is that creative work for me is like inherently personal. I do a lot of public introspection on this channel. I talk a lot about my life and what's going on in my mind, but it is a lot of work and it's really difficult to do this so publicly and so vulnerably, vulnerably, in a vulnerable way. <laughs> And uh, at a certain point, I, I realized I was reaching a point where I was just like, I just, I need to chill. I need to take a break from that. And definitely I've grown so much because that's just the way that I make content and that's the type of content that I created. I've done so much introspecting and learning about myself and going through so much growth. But I also just kind of needed to just like 
slow down and like gain some balance in that. And then alongside the whole creative work is inherently personal. There's a lot of like things about creative work that I was like learning on the go that I'm still kind of trying to figure out how exactly to do well. Things like being able to constantly refill the creative well so that I'm always inspired and then I can always take that and make that into creative work is something that I found really difficult to do. And then also because my work is inherently personal, it kind of started feeling like the life that I was experiencing was being turned into some sort of product. That's something that I heard Elle Mills talk about in a video that she posted recently, which really kind of like struck a chord with me. So there was like a lot of challenges that I was like working through constantly about stuff. And there were really fun problems to solve. Like it, I definitely, again, have grown so much from it, but I did get to a point where I was just like, okay, this is great, but like, let's, chill for a little bit. Like let's not have this tied to whether I make income or not, because now it feels like I have to do all that in order to survive, which was like really weird mental state to be in. I just got myself into a place where I was too desperate to be creative, to feel like I could make anything super good or fun. And that's an important part. Like I realized I needed my work to be fun and the work wasn't really fun anymore. And that was kind of like a big red flag to me. So I was just like, okay, Something's gotta change. So yeah, in an interesting way, the answer turned out to be, let's go back into software engineering because you know how to do that. And that was fun. And maybe now that you've taken a break from software engineering and you go back to it, you'll find new things that you like about it that you previously didn't. And yeah, honestly, I've been very pleasantly surprised since going back into software development. Um, I'm at a really tiny startup with about 10 people. It's fully remote. It's kind of like in the biotech space a little bit doing iOS development. And I am so surprised at how much I'm having fun coding. I think I've said on the channel before that like I never really enjoyed the coding part of software development. I liked being able to make stuff and collaborate with people on a team to do things, but it was never the coding that was it for me. But like ever since I started this job, I am really enjoying the coding. And I think this is the first time I have in like ever, which is a huge surprise. Maybe I just needed that really long break or something, but I'm really enjoying like pumping out code and like solving coding problems. <laughs> Other than that, it's been really nice to work on a team. It's been nice to have a lot of predictability in my days. It's nice to have a salary. It's nice to be able to work on a thing with other people and we all bring our skills together to the table to like make that thing happen, but it's all kind of external to us. Granted, I've never worked at a startup this tiny before. So there's definitely some challenges that I'm experiencing because life is not all roses and there's always gonna be tough times no matter what happens. So definitely feeling some early startup growing pains and stuff sometimes, but like, it's just been a really nice change to go from content creation full time and making videos for you all to doing what I do now. And it's just really funny because I just thought I would never go back to software engineering, but here I am and I'm liking it a lot. And so I wanted to make this video to just talk about that because I don't really feel like I've failed as a YouTuber or a content creator or a business owner, but I've just needed to adjust and pivot based on my life priorities and circumstances and things that I wanted to do, which is totally okay. Like I've, I've actually eased into this transition better than I thought and I'm really happy. And so in thinking about kind of like, how do I want to do YouTube from now on, I'm not really sure to be quite honest. I'm not really like making any hard and fast decisions right now because I don't know, like I don't want to quit entirely. I also am not going to commit to doing weekly videos still because that's just not really in my heart. And you know, maybe in the future I'll have like a full fledged comeback or something like that. I'm just kind of leaving it open to the opportunity to be what it needs to be when it needs to be based on what I want to do. So I guess the answer is like, we'll see. I'm also writing a book in Japanese to help Japanese people come to the States and work in tech and introducing kind of like a lot of English language concepts that are commonly used in the tech industry. And that's coming out next year. So there's still a lot of projects that are happening behind the scenes, just like video creation is maybe not like the front and center of my mind right now. So yeah, announcements will still continue to come and they'll happen here on my channel, on my social media platforms and stuff. And so I'm still around. And speaking of social media, I am kind of also like reeling it back a little bit just as a personal decision because I want to have better boundaries and a better relationship to like internet life. So I'm not posting as much, but I'm still here. So yeah, that's the update. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all the support that I've received ever since I started my channel. And I hope that you continue to be around and be here and say hello and maybe watch some of my older videos that I'm so proud to have made and stuff. So 
yeah, thank you so much for letting me do this and be here and express my gratitude and yeah, all, all of the things. So I really, really, really appreciate it and thank you. I guess uh, I'll see you around. Bye.